What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's been a couple of months since I posted on this channel. Um, the hiatus was a bit unexpected. Uh, what the original plan was, was that I was going to take about a week off, right? Because the last video, I was talking about how I, I lost myself. I didn't really feel like I was myself in the gym. I felt kind of weak, a loser, spinning my wheels, etc. And uh, that was the original plan. But what ended up happening was I did take that week off from training and I've been training this whole time since then. But in my personal life, things, they transpired, some events, and essentially uh, kind of derailed my life for a second there. Um, actually, you know what? I wouldn't go that far. I mean, derailing my life is a little bit extreme, but definitely maybe lose a lot of... Uh, motivation and uh, kind of kept me a little depresso and I'll probably talk about that at a later video just because I didn't really want to make the first video back recapping that situation and I really wanted to get something up because I'm ready to film again but essentially I there was an event a single event that happened to me personally that ended up like really spinning out of control eventually had nothing to do with me and kind of like but I was like thrown into this even though I didn't like aside from the original event I didn't have really much of a of a say in the way that certain events were both handled and the response to the handling of such events. I know I'm being very cryptic. I hate, I, I don't like being cryptic. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I'm not ready to talk about it in this video yet. But long story short, I lost my community, essentially. Um, and every time I go back into that community, I can feel like there's like a, there's like a vibe, you know, it's like a, almost an indescribable aura of just content, just, or not content, but contempt and just general feelings of like, you know, why are you still here? You know, we don't really want you here. You don't belong here type of deal, which, you know, obviously is, is very depressing because I feel like I've given a lot of myself to this community and I feel as if I've given, I, I, I open my heart, you know, I'm a very, I wear my heart in my sleeve and I'm a very, I'm, I try to be more logical than emotional, but especially when it comes to interpersonal relationships, I am very emotional. I'm very logical about like outside of people, like if I need to like do certain things, assignments, like like life events moving forward or planning my training, which is another thing that I've been really struggling with. Um, Cause I, I like to see like all these options, all the roads, I like to see where all the paths end. But with people, I'm very emotional. Like I said, I wear my heart on my sleeve and I think people don't appreciate that. Um, and you know, maybe not, not everybody has to appreciate that. I'm not telling everybody to love me. Uh, but it just feels as if like it's almost like an annoyance. Like kindness is an annoyance. Empathy is an annoyance. Support. Supporting your teammates is annoying to some people. And I don't know if it's like the sort of macho man like hardcore you know everybody's a crab and you're just trying to get out of the bucket and if anybody gets too high you got to pull them down like that kind of culture that we have in lifting in the gym because like everybody wants to be some sort of hardcore badass but like nobody is i don't know if that's the case or if it's if, if it's just the way that i am like if i come off as something that I don't want to come off as. I don't know. Nobody's ever told me anything. But yeah, I lost my community essentially. And 
that has been a real struggle. And once again, it was due to an event that did involve me initially, but eventually like spiraled out of my control to the point where the reaction that was given by other individuals was not the reaction that I had wanted. I just wanted the situation dealt with. I wanted the individuals who were involved, including myself, to like be confronted, have a resolution, and basically I wanted somebody to stand up for me. And that didn't happen. And I really appreciate the people. There were some people who did. And I do try to appreciate those people. But at the end of the day, it's very hard for me to feel as if they were doing it for me versus doing it for themselves. Right? I mean... I feel like people got involved because they themselves wanted to make the statement rather than like sort of defending me on my behalf. You guys understand what I'm saying? Like it wasn't about me at the end of the day. And it really should have been, in my opinion, at least in this situation. But, you know, after that happened, I felt very, very depressed, (laughs) obviously, you know. I had built these relationships over the last like six months and it just kind of felt like they were all ending all at once. And it was a shame. Um, I don't think it affected my lifting, but it, it, it most definitely could have. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm finally ready. I haven't moved on, clearly. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still very emotional about it. But I think I'm ready not only to talk about it, but also to like get back to being myself again or like, and like sharing my progress with people again, because I really felt kind of like, I didn't want to put myself out there anymore because I mean, in person it worked out so poorly. I can only imagine on the internet, but I'm ready to come back. I'm ready to hit this with everything that I've got. And if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate all the love you guys have given me on that last one too. So here you can enjoy a clip of like the grindiest bench I've ever had in my entire life. I'll see you in the next one. Come on. You know how to bench. Let's get it, honey. Make this shit move. Come on. Come on. Honestly, the only thing that fucked you up, it would have gone...